Hi there, I am Mike Ben. Uh, I'm the general manager of Alphanet Canada, and I'm in a little bit of trouble here today uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, I'm representing or filling in for our CEO, Bob Barrett, who's a major force in the Alpha One community uh, in the United States. And uh, my job here today is to condense his 30 minute presentation into 10 minutes. I knew I had that problem. Uh, and then about 11 o'clock this morning, I realized I had more of a problem because my good friend, Dr. Sandhouse, gave half of the presentation that I was gonna give. <laughs> so, so I'm kind of winging it here. Uh, and, and that's usually what happens when I fill in for Bob. Uh, the second issue I have here is that everyone you, we've heard from so far has been an expert in what they were talking about. Uh, my title is general manager. I'm not an expert in anything other than being a patient. Uh, so, so what I think I'm going to do here is uh, not stick too closely to my slides. Uh, I'm going to describe what an Alphanet coordinator does from the perspective of the patient. Um, I was diagnosed with an Alpha-1 deficiency 11 years ago. And uh, when I stumbled home from the doctor's office, I was somewhere between clueless and freaked out. And I stayed that way for about a week until this guy that I didn't know called me and told me, hi, I'm your Alphanet coordinator. Uh, I had no clue what that was, and uh, I was a little bit suspicious. And uh, over the course of the next hour, uh, he explained that he was in the health management business, that uh, he <clears throat> Alphanet was focused upon people who had the Alpha-1 deficiency, and he was going to kind of be my buddy and help me work through this. Uh, that he was an Alpha-2, and he'd been dealing with uh, the condition for a number of years, and he talked to a whole bunch of other people before he talked to me who were in the same situation. And uh, he was going to answer the questions I had then and any that I came up with in the future. Uh, he was going to show me how to look them up my, the answers up myself. Uh, and he was going to uh, explain to me Alphanet's disease management program. Now, that part fits in very well with uh, what uh, Dr. Chapman was talking about this morning on self-management and uh, what Dr. Sandhouse was talking about earlier. And one, another thing he did for me was he sent me one of these pamphlets, which is called a skinny little reference guide. It's available uh, on the Alphanet Canada website and uh, also in hard copy. And I got a whole bunch of them back there if you'd like to have one. Uh, and this kind of gave me a, a way to develop a plan on how I was going to deal with this problem. and. Uh, I've been going to the doctor for 11 years since I was diagnosed, and I've worn out three of these things. Uh, and it, it's, it's just been really helpful to me. Um, at, at this point in the conversation, I was really uh, starting to feel a little bit better. But I was in the financial industry at the time, and I had dealt with consultants, and this guy was kind of sounding like a consultant to me, and I know that consultants aren't free. So at some point along the, in our conversation, I said, okay, now this sounds good, but what's it gonna cost me? And uh, he says, well, it's not gonna cost you any money, it's just gonna cost you a little bit of your time every month. And I says, well, what do you mean by a little bit? And uh, he says, well, some months, it may only cost you 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, three or four months a year, it'll cost you maybe 30 minutes. Uh, 
And the deal is, I'll help you out if you'll help me out by providing some data that we'll use for research. And he uh, says, yeah, that sounds okay. I'll do that. Uh, I talked to that guy for some number of minutes in two and a half years, 30 times. And uh, <clears throat> as time went on, uh, I thought, well, you know, this guy's, no one, this guy's been uh, a lifesaver. And I wound up going to work for Alphanet in the US. Uh, and uh, about th three years after that, I, I had been an Alphanet coordinator in the US and uh, did well enough not to get fired. And uh, I get this call from our CEO. Now, I'm a guy in the trenches. I'm, at that point, I, I knew the CEO, I knew he was a good guy, and uh, I liked talking to him in meetings and stuff, but I didn't get calls from the CEO. So I said, hmm, I wonder what I'm in trouble for now. And uh, he says, hey, uh, let's go to Canada next week. I says, are we going fishing or what? <laughs> he says, no, we're gonna expand Alphanet into Canada. It's gonna be a separate corporation called Alphanet Canada. And uh, we're gonna hire Canadian coordinators, but I'd like for you to help me set it up. And uh, he says, well, okay. Uh, so, that was uh, in October, the following January, we, Alphanet uh, became a registered nonprofit corporation in Canada. Uh, several, maybe a year or so after that, we uh, were designated as a uh, registered charity. Uh, we don't accept donations. We ask people to send their donations to uh, Alpha One Canada. And uh, we have two coordinators. We have positions for two coordinators, one in the east and one in the west. And uh, if you're an alpha who's uh, signed up with uh, Alphanet Canada, uh, you know at least one of them. Uh, right now, uh, one of our coordinators, David McKinney, who many of you know, either through uh, his being an Alphanet coordinator or you might have known him from his involvement with uh, uh, Alpha One prior to that at Alpha One Canada or at various meetings. Uh, he was one of our first coordinators and I owe him a lot because uh, he really helped me a lot setting this uh, organization up. And uh, he was here today and I was really gonna embarrass him by recognizing him and telling you what a good guy he is and how much he knows and how helpful he's been. But I, he came up to me shortly before my presentation and says, hey, I gotta go, I got another meeting to go to. Um, so I'm right now looking for an Eastern Canada coordinator uh, who has to be an alpha, has to be able to work from home, uh, has to be able to travel a little bit and is willing to devote an inordinate amount of time to help another alphas. Um, and I think that's probably all I want to say because for all I know, I've exceeded my 10 minutes already and Angela's gonna kill me to begin with. But if, uh, if you're an alpha or you're interested in uh, learning more about Alphanet Canada, please come see me at that booth way back there in the corner where it's really cold. <laughs>